Well, let's move on to Kenya's market for the day. Just looking at uh, the performance uh, for uh, this Monday, down by a quarter percent, 4,953 points. Looking at turnover there, uh, vibrant on the day with turnover up by 48% relative to Friday's uh, session and around $5 million exchanging hands. Just looking at some of the uh, movers on the day, East African breweries, Bamburi Cement and KCB, all accounting for just over 70% of the trade on the day. Looking at how the currency is faring against the dollar, 85 as it stands we're certainly seeing currency weakness uh, a theme right now and that of course has been uh, something that we started to see playing out as of last week and uh, progressing into uh, this week so we'll delve into all of that uh, with our market watcher now we've got Rufus Mwanyasi investment analyst at Savo Securities standing by from Nairobi Rufus thank you very much for joining us today so before we uh, get into the equity market what do you make of the weakness in the shilling because it has weakened by about a shilling in you know in the past month and certainly now trading at around 85 to the dollar do you think that uh, this is uh, this is a level where it could settle do you think further weaknesses uh, bound from here on out well I think uh, the, the, the shilling is at its uh, um, annual uh, usual uh, trading range so uh, it's, it's no cause of worry but uh, with the recent uh, weakness I think it's because of the cyclical um, uh, monthly purchases um, uh, you know of oil uh, by, by the oil operators, hence the, that, that demand for the US dollar is causing that weakness to happen. But I guess after we enter uh, into the first week of um, next month, then we are likely to see it strengthen a little bit. Perhaps go back to the you know to the to the trend between eight to four, eight to four and a half, which has been the 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 the, the, the range um, in the last three months. Mm -hmm. So there we go, not too concerned on that front, as you say, settling into a predictable pattern there. Um, but certainly is weak. Looking at uh, the equity market right now, we of course saw Rev Pingo reporting today. Now 7% drop there in the first half uh, pre-tax profit. That's largely blamed on cost. I mean, do you think that management should have put in cost control measures earlier? Do you think that uh, this drop back uh, could have been prevented basically? Well, um, yes, I think so. Uh, if, if the ma management had put more effort in terms of maintaining their costs and you know cutting down on the costs, perhaps we might see we might have seen a, a, a different return on their uh, on their bottom line. But however, I think the manager, the management has done really well um, um, in, in the face of what happened in the last six months. Uh, we're talking of interest rates, uh, you know, still in the double digit. So I think they've really done well, even to produce. Uh, you know, a slightly, you know, um, uh, okay, of, of course the profit has come slightly lower, but I, I think in, in the face of what happened in the last six months, I think they've done really well. So, credible performance, uh, does it still make for good investment though? Uh, well, I think my take on just the whole sector on agricultural is, is, is a bit of an all goes on right now because uh, the price are a bit choppy. Uh, since we entered the year, the price have not really um, entered into uh, you know good trends, and we've not really seen really good trends. Maybe with the exception of uh, Sami Africa, I mean sorry, um, Sassini. But the rest, I, I, I think uh, it, it, they may be good long term plays, but for short term plays, I, I think they're a bit choppy, and I think it's a no goes on right now, despite. Mm -hmm. Uh, the good results like we're seeing from Ravi Pingo. I mean, but for the longest while now, you've seen agricultural stocks trading on single-digit PEs and said to be so cheap, and everyone talking about the re-rating in the sector. Um, is that likely mm -hmm. to ever come? I mean, what do you see as a catalyst for that? I think one of the challenges that investors face, uh, particularly with that sector, is the liquidity of the shares. That's why you see uh, investors don't really pay attention, uh, particularly in participating in that particular sector. Uh, I, I, and even when you look at in terms of pricing, uh, most of them are trading in triple digits. So I think that's really a put-off for most investors. So they'd rather choose on other sectors where the price are a bit more pocket-friendly. So I guess maybe on those two challenges, I, I think uh, you know if, if there's a bit of reversal on that, perhaps we might see more in increased participation. Mm -hmm. Let's just move to Kennel Coble because uh, the stock uh, received much attention last week because there was a restructuring notice mm -hmm. that came through. And the company basically is saying that things are looking a lot better in quarter two. I mean, they, you know, they had that massive loss. I think it was 6.2 mm -hmm. billion shillings last year. So now they're looking to sell assets to, to plug uh, the gap. Do you think this is the wise move? I think it is a wise move, um, and I think even from a, from a market's point of view, we want to see uh, such moves happening uh, just to win uh, investors' confidence back into that stock. But I think when you look at the sector, I think it's really um, 
uh, despite you know the, the huge loss that they suffered last year, they're still in a stronger position compared to its competitors. Um, and I think in terms of its diversification geographically, uh, in terms of you know the the cash reserves that it still has, um, and even with the able management, I think the uh, the, the stock is really well placed, uh, even even for uh, to have good performance for this particular year. And yes, we've looked at some of their proposals and what they want to do. They said one of the things they're still open for you know for for a strategic uh, investor to come take have, have a stake in the company. Um, we also like saying one of the proposals sell some of the non-core assets. I think these are good moves in just trying to reestablish itself within the sector. But I think it is a good uh, stock uh, uh, to to watch.